Do you play Star Wars Destiny? Are you looking for the last few cards for your collection? Are you trying to find the character you need to round out your tournament deck? VTTV has teamed up with 401 Games to provide you with 10% off your next order of Star Wars Destiny singles. It's pretty simple. Just go to 401games.ca and enter the code VTTVDestiny10 when you check out. That's VTTVDestiny10 when you place your next order at 401games.ca for 10% off all Star Wars Destiny singles. Shane uh, winning the, his first two rounds, of course, John, you saw on camera for round one. Uh, Shane is kind enough to show us his starting hand. Uh, so I think Palp, uh, Palp uh, generally has a more favorable matchup than most other decks against Pomaz, I think, because we talked about... Uh, so Shane's mulliganing four cards. Yeah. It looks like John's mulliganing three. I mean, the one thing that Pomaz has against multi-character decks it doesn't have against Palp is, you know, it's throwing those thermal ventilators, those U-wings, uh, even the rocket launchers against multiple characters. And the rocket launcher is less so because... You're still going to get four damage out of it. Yeah. Um, and, and generally, um, you know, Palpatine is it's a deck that has 100% effective power until its only character dies. Whereas with, you know, against other multi-character decks, you can you can sort of you know diminish the offensive power of a deck by taking out characters. And I think Pomaz generally is very good at you know aggressively taking out one or two characters and then. Uh, in, in that regard, kind of diminishing the offensive power of the, the retaliation and carry that momentum through to the end of the game. So it looks like, yeah, it looks like John ended up winning his roll. Uh, it goes with Oto Gunga, the one that allows you to heal one damage when you claim the battlefield. So that's a lucky break for, for John, at least at the very beginning. And then Shane decides to put one shield on each of his characters. Now, I... For Does, sure. Yeah, force choke. Now, do you do you know if? Uh, oh, so no no hit and run here, and didn't end up getting any of the special sides. Now in, in uh, Shane's hand, I see a U wing, and of course, Travis, you just spoke about how U wings are a little bit less effective in this matchup. Uh, there's a force choke. So there's a nice control uh, piece there for for John this round. Wow. Shane's unfortunate with his rolls. There's a Millennium Falcon in uh, Shane's hand as well, so. He's going to go ahead and deal the three damage, resolving one die. Now let's see if Shane decides to resolve a second die. And yep, go ahead, puts a shield on Poe most likely. Yep. Discarding the range for a reroll. Uh, that's a very nice thing there too. Now, I, see, I see a dug in, which is not going to help him. Uh, it looks like he's got a defensive position as well. Yep. And that's a retreat he just discarded. He does end up getting that, that special side, but uh, John uses Force Choke to, uh, to change it to a blank, dealing out one unblockable damage. So this has been a really lucky first turn for John. I mean, starting with uh, being able to get the battlefield and then Shane not being able to roll any specials. Of course, there's that special. Uh, now he's discarded the one viewing, but. John's going to crack back with, a, looks like, uh, was it five damage? And that's before the, the four damage he's going to deal to. So puts another four on uh, Mass. So, Millennium Falcon dealing four damage. So now we have Palpatine sitting at uh, six, seven. Seven? The one damage from Mass. Yes, it was. Now, the question is, does Shen think he's ever going to be, be getting uh, the benefit? It looks like he does. Uh, 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 oh, I see. I, I was gonna. I was questioning why uh, Palpatine only has seven damage on him instead of eight, because Million Talk is a four damage so I mean, He healed one damage. So. Oh, nice rolls. This is, a, this is exactly the kind of rolls John. John's been getting very fortunate with his rolls here. Which is kind of like, you know, you need a little bit of luck, I think, to... Uh, you need a little bit of luck to deal with uh, the Pomaz here. One of the things that I was... Look, I'm starting the guy. In the garden. <laughs> no, no, it's a remove. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't have a stack. You got to go down. You got to go down. Yes, you're going to go down. Two disrupts. Okay, yeah, he's just going to 
Was that enough to finish off? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Finish off uh, Mask. I'm curious why you yeah. put it on Mask. Oh my god, the, the soundtrack on Sleeping Dogs. Well, I think if you put it on Poe, I think you can spread the damage around enough so that Maz survives. Whereas in this scenario, now he doesn't have the, the dice to... Um, he doesn't have Maz dice to roll out and get a focus, get a, you know, focus on his special so Yeah, just claim here. Well, he needs access to the defensive position. Yeah. To dug in. I, I think it might have been worthwhile in the first round to race there to at least get a use out of those cards. Yeah. And you're not, you might miss your opportunity for the, getting some damage on pulp, but it lets you set up a little bit and get some very valuable cards. So it looks like John didn't have anything to play for two resources uh, before his turn ended. So, and Shane's deciding what to pitch here. Now, Electroshock's not really doing anything anymore, so yeah, it's probably going to be a definite pitch there. Well, no, it, it, it's such a large potential. You may be mitigating four damage with it. Right, but if Maz is dead, how are you electroshocking? Maybe he just missed that. Okay, or no, he, he may have just drawn it too. I, di I didn't see him discard. Oh, nice yeah. defensive position. That's huge, yeah, because like that pretty much hits every one of uh, Palpatine's non blank sites. Yeah, yeah, both of them. There you go. So that's the kind of break that Shane needed, so that's good on Shane for, uh, for claiming that battlefield to, to make use of both the Duggan and the defensive position. Um, overconfidence. Uh, I don't know if that's the... Well, okay. That was probably the worst thing that he could... The worst roll he could have got off that overconfidence. I was going to say, though, that... Um, yeah, four damage onto Millennium with a Millennium Falcon. I was going to say that... This turn, I think, it was, just turns it around. Yeah, it wasn't It wasn't the right call to overconfidence there, I think. You know, you just take, you just take the melee... Because I mean, like, let's say he rolls a special in a three, three brain suck, right? Like, it's still pretty bad. Now, my, uh, the question I have is, do you, do you play around potential mitigation that he has there, or do you get the dug in while he still control the battlefield? I feel like that might have been a worth the risk that I would take. Well, let's see. How much, how much uh, damage you need to kill a poker? Five? Can you five damage kill him? Yeah, I would have probably gone with the dug in. And I also would have, I think in John's side... Well, this could be... Yeah. Could be a, no. Well... Okay. That, that doesn't quite get it. But you could loth cat and mouse here. Now, I think if, if I was John, and that, that's what he ends up doing, and John has to choose something of his to remove... Okay, there you go. Um, yeah, I feel your anger to get rid of the other guy. Yeah, I think that... Um, no. Okay. Well, didn't he play the Fleer Anger? Yes, but I, I think, uh, I think what he missed was the Loth Cat Mouse. Oh, I'm surprised Shane didn't point that out to him. Feels bad, man. So Victor's just going over to the gate safe there. So I, I, I don't know, if I was in John's shoes, I think what I would have done the previous turn would be to discard his entire hand to, to, yes. play, to fish for Rise again. I guess, um, so John claimed and to heal the damage. Uh, I, guess it, I guess he does it to prevent Shane from getting access to another defensive position or other cards where he needs to control the battlefield. Here. I don't know how Sean play I don't know how Shane plays with cards of his hand up there. Just to discard, it takes two damage. Oh, oh. Shane rolls in. No money right. though. Oh no, he has one dollar. One dollar, three damage. High ground. Hi 
So just uh, for reference, we will be doing four rounds today, so we have one more round after this one. Trying to re-rolls and is forced to re-roll again. Palp has 11 damage now. Claims the battlefield, removes one damage there. But now with now with Shane having a, a rocket launcher, and I think if he if he was able to draw a hit and run, which he didn't. But I, I see a field medic there. I see um, Maz's goggles, but I don't think it's going to help all that much. But uh, this roll here by by John, not all that great for killing off. Uh, Oh, at least. So I think Shane, yeah, he's just gonna roll. Uh, he could end up rolling in fatal damage. Yeah, so. I mean he's he's not in danger of dying right away, and yeah, there's uh, some really good damage sites there. But here's another, yeah, high ground. Of course, because he claims he has a battlefield, deals one damage. It's a character die. Now here's that throwing a thermal detonator for three damage, which puts uh, Palpatine at 13 total damage, I believe. Takes two shields, puts another two damage on the wall. Oh, so now, now there's two, I think, now both characters, I mean, now Palpatine has two shields, but both characters sitting at two HP left. Now uh, Shane healing two damage, going back down to seven HP. Sorry, make that, yeah, seven HP? Nine? Eight. Eight. Oh. No, he has eight. Okay. Sorry, it's because there's a face down, uh, or sorry, a flipped over thing. Alright, wait for runs. him to roll in a nice. damage shy. Cat messes it away. I expect that we'll see John claim again, which actually puts him at resources necessary to rise again, potentially next turn. Yeah, I think, I think you just do that and you uh, discard your entire hand, try to look for that rise again. Yeah. I mean, get, getting an upgrade out of the deal too is huge. So get hunger down, and a shield, and most uh, goggles, matches. Oh, okay. Well, he. I was going to say uh, that was a huge mistake for not pitching his entire hand, but he did end up being lucky enough to draw that rise again. So of course that's the first thing he's going to play. So healing, big heal of five damage, and now he gets to play an upgrade from his discard pal, I think. Is there an upgrade hiding there somewhere? No. Do you get to play from your hand too? Yeah, thank you for catching that, uh, Hanson. James not getting the rolls he's looking for here. That uh, electro shot's no good against that three side. Uh, negotiate is decent though. I mean, even even if John does get to choose which dice to remove, it's still uh, still, it's still at least one of them dice you right? mitigate. But yeah. Um, I suppose he could have hungered down, and uh, that's the reaction I want. That would have been enough to survive. Right? Yeah, I think that's why he exhausted the hunger down and realized, oh, maybe I should have done that. But yeah, yeah, it gave me noise. I think, I think especially with Maz's goggles, like, I, I can't tell you how many times like I just don't remember that that spotty yellow character thing is just a kind of. <laughs> I don't read it on yeah. the card. Yeah. Do you play Star Wars Destiny? Are you looking for the last few cards for your collection? Are you trying to find the character you need to round out your tournament deck? VTTV has teamed up with 401 Games to provide you with 10% off your next order of Star Wars Destiny singles. It's pretty simple. 
Just go to 401games.ca and enter the code VTTVDESTINY10 when you check out. That's VTTVDESTINY10 when you place your next order at 401games.ca for 10% off all Star Wars Destiny singles.